Today, the focus of air transportation within Russia is on flights that connect cities to Moscow and Moscow to other cities. This means that for a flight from Perm to Nizhny Novgorod, a transfer to a Moscow airport is required. Direct flights from Perm to Nizhny Novgorod are only available twice a week, while flights via Moscow are available daily, often several times a day. Flying between regions more frequently is not possible due to high costs and unprofitability under the current fleet and passenger traffic conditions. Specialized light regional aircraft are required to provide more affordable passenger transportation in the regions. It should have a small capacity and a flight range of 500 to 1,500 kilometers. In the past, the IL-14 and AN-24 aircraft were popular models for regional transportation. Today, many old AN-24 aircraft are still in operation in various countries of the former USSR, as well as in regions of Africa and Asia. In the 1980s, the fleet of old turboprop aircraft slowly but surely lost relevance with the emergence of new jet engines in regional aviation. New models like the Yak-40 and Yak-42 began appearing in the USSR, competing with the outdated AN-24. There was a belief that the future of air travel belonged exclusively to jetliners due to their high speed and low noise levels. However, it is important to note that these advantages come with lower fuel efficiency compared to turboprop aircraft. Currently, on Russian regional airlines, the Superjet SJ-100 has replaced Soviet jet models and successfully occupies its niche in the market, fulfilling the need for domestic aircraft production. Despite initially seeming outdated, the Ilyushin Design Bureau proposed an initiative in the early 1980s to develop a new 60-seat turboprop passenger aircraft, the IL-114, for use on local roads. However, turboprop aircraft have an important advantage. They are better suited for takeoff from unprepared runways, including dirt and ice strips, making them more attractive for regional aircraft serving local airfields. This is especially important for a country with vast distances like Russia. Additionally, turboprop planes require shorter runways, making them more efficient in regions with limited airport infrastructure. In early 2014, the Ilyushin Design Bureau came up with the idea of modernizing the IL-114 passenger aircraft, known as the IL-114-100. The Ilyushin Design Bureau introduced a new version, the IL-114-300, several years later in 2015. The main change was the decision to install two completely new and powerful TV-7117 ST1 turboprop engines, each capable of delivering up to 3,100 horsepower during takeoff. These engines provided a significant increase in power compared to the previous model, the TV-7117SM, installed on the IL-114-100, which could only produce 2,620 horsepower during takeoff and 2,000 horsepower in cruise mode. The new engines have a wider power adjustment range from 3,600 horsepower, promising significant improvements in aircraft performance. The new IL-114-300 has a unique ability to adjust engine power from 1,500 to just 500 horsepower in cruise mode. This greatly reduces runway length requirements and lowers fuel consumption. Additionally, the AV-112-114 propellers now feature a new six-blade design, significantly reducing cabin noise. Thanks to its improved characteristics, the new plane can land and take off at airfields where its main competitor, the Sukhoi Superjet, cannot reach. Fuel savings also help reduce ticket prices and cargo transport costs, making flights more affordable and economically viable. Following the crash of the IL-112V military transport in 2021, the manufacturer halted tests of the new regional aircraft, which first flew in December 2020 with new TV-7170 ST-01 engines. The manufacturer's official statement required an analysis of specific details and circumstances related to the IL-112V incident, including an examination of data from the flight recorder. Consequently, they temporarily suspended test flights of the experimental IL-114, equipped with a similar power unit. With the introduction of the fully Russian-built IL-114-300, flight tests have resumed. Simultaneously, Kalima Aviation delivered two Mi-38 helicopters to the customer and dispatched them to Magadan.
It's interesting to note that the engines of these two helicopters, TV-7117V, are nearly identical. The Russian Aviation Register issued the type certificate for the TV-7117 ST-1 engine in January last year, following successful bench tests for 1,800 cycles. The engine's main parameters are ready for operation, as confirmed by flight tests of the IL-114-300 and the delivery of the MI-38 to the customer. With the new engines, the IL-114-300 made its first flight, marking the beginning of a series of checks. Plans for the upcoming year include thorough testing of the TV-7117 ST-01 under different operating conditions to ensure its reliability. According to forecasts by the Ministry of Industry and Trade, serial deliveries of the IL-114-300 to airlines will begin in 2026. The Ministry of Industry and Trade plans to produce 70 such aircraft by 2030, offering reliable and affordable passenger aircraft made in Russia to Russian regions. Now, do you think this latest turboprop will reduce SSJ-100 orders? Please let us know in the comments. Please like, subscribe, and share this video. Also, please join our memberships to encourage us.